Dikwels als een mens denkt aan die financiële sector, dan denken mens net aan grijspakken en hooggebouwen. Alpha Code is bezig om hierdie perceptie vannacht te verander. Dominique Collet sluit nou bij mij aan om te gesels oor ontwrichting binnen in die financiële sector. Hallo Colleen. Hi. How are you? Good. Alpha Code, what is it all about? So Alpha Code is about creating the next generation of financial services. So it's about finding and partnering with great entrepreneurs in the financial services space. It's, it's, uh, it's fascinating to talk about financial services and then to talk about disruptive technology. L let's start at the beginning. What, what do you classify as, 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 as being a disruptive technology? How do you classify that? We classify it as something that changes the way people interact with financial services. So it can be either a technology, it can be a platform, it can be a different type of product. So it basically challenges the status quo. Yes. Why was there a specific focus on financial services and, and not any other sector? Did, did, did you guys feel that this is a sector that, that needed some disruption or how did that come about? So we are a financial services company and we are a group that have had a history of building financial services businesses, it's an industry we understand, it's an industry that we have deep insights to, so that was the industry that we felt we could best apply our, in, our ex expertise to. So uh, you've got a range of different memberships, so um, it, take, take me through those. If, if I'd like to become a member, um, how does that work? So what we do is the first level of membership is what we call green membership, and this is basically for anyone who's interested in next generation financial services, or fintech as we call it. So this could be someone who's thinking about building a business or someone who's a lawyer who's sitting and thinking about it, it could be someone who's sitting in a digital design agency, anyone who's saying what does the future financial services look like and they can sign up and then they become, uh, they get a regular newsletter, what's happening in the space, what businesses are there, they can also attend certain events. Then once you actually start a fintech business or a next generation financial services business, then you apply for gold membership. So the two categories there, or the two requirements we have there is that you've got to be full time in the business and you've got to be working on something interesting that we think is worthwhile and then once you've been in the space for a while and we get to know your business we potentially invest in you yes. and once we've invested in you you become one of our diamond members so let's talk about that that investment um rmi holdings a, a, a very um it's a, it's a well-known business obviously it's in, it's incredibly well known um why would rmi focus um, on on a program um, like this so rmi has obviously got some great assets and it's stable assets like discovery assets like archer like MMI, so it's got some great assets in financial services today. But obviously the way that financial services um, are delivered today is being challenged. We've got things like social media, we've got things like technology, we've got a rising millennial consumer who are engaging with the world differently. So we can either say, are our existing big incumbent businesses going to adapt to these changes, or is someone going to blindside us? Yes. Is someone going to come up and build something that's going to radically change the landscape? We'd rather rather play with those players. We'd Absolutely. rather invest into the trend and disrupt ourselves. Uh, it, uh, give me an example who, who's gone through the program. I know it's only been nine months, but surely you've invested in, in some good entrepreneurs. We have. So one of our, our sort of shining examples is Merchant Capital. So they are providing a merchant cash advance facility to SMEs. So it's fantastic because SMEs struggle to get financing in South Africa. They tend to find the banks are quite archaic when it comes to looking at them. And this was a young, dynamic, aggressive team who said this is a space that we think we can apply some innovation, we can think about it differently. So we've invested in a business like that because we think SME lending is, yes. a, is a problem that really needs to be solved. If you had to say in, in 30 seconds, that ideal entrepreneur and, and his team, how does he and his team look like? So first of all, they're ambitious. Second of all, they've got some experience in the industry. Third of all, they've got some application of technology, so they understand how technology can, how they can use technology to deliver services, because obviously they can build scalable platforms. And they are just vibrant. Yes. I think what we look for is someone who's got what we call the X factor. Within five minutes of meeting them, you get a sense of whether or not this person has mm. got bigger plans than what they're delivering to you today. Well, I'm sure everybody else, uh, we're looking forward to seeing who that next star entrepreneur is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Na die breek gesels ons met Wouter Voerie, FPI se financiële beplanner vir die jaar, bly net waar jy is.